As many of you know, the first half of the 20th century was a very important time in the history of chemistry as we know it. Experiments by J.J. Thompson and Ernest Rutherford led us to believe that the atom is made up of two subatomic particles called protons and electrons. In 1935, James Chadwick made another great contribution to science when he found out that there's a third subatomic particle called the neutron. Before his great discovery, scientists postulated that there could be a third subatomic particle inside the nucleus, but no experiments had been done to prove that. Two main reasons led scientists to believe that there could be a third subatomic particle in the atom. The first reason being that like charges repel each other. They believe there must be something else in the nucleus so that the protons don't push away from each other. came about when scientists compared the atomic masses of hydrogen and helium. They noticed that hydrogen only weighed 1 AMU and helium 4. That means helium is about four times the size of a hydrogen atom. At the time, scientists believed one proton equals about 1 AMU. So why does helium weigh four times more than the hydrogen? So if hydrogen has one proton and helium two, why is helium's atomic mass four times greater than that of hydrogen? Then they looked at two hydrogen atoms compared to one helium atom. There are two protons here and two protons here. When compared though, the two hydrogen atoms were two AMU and the one helium atom was four AMU. Helium still had double the weight of two hydrogen atoms. When they looked at four hydrogen atoms, and compared it to one helium atom. Now they had the same mass. You may know this accounts for the two neutrons in the nucleus of the helium atom. But scientists at the time didn't know about the neutron yet, and were puzzled. So let's go through a brief timeline. In 1897, the electrons were discovered by J.J. Thompson. In 1911, Ernest Rutherford discovered the protons. In 1932, James Chadwick discovered the neutron. Just a year before he discovered the neutron, two experiments were going on by Walter Bopp and Mr. and Mrs. Joliot. In 1931, Walter Bopp discovered that when highly energetic alpha particles are emitted from a highly radioactive polonium, and these particles were emitted through elements such as beryllium, boron, or lithium, a very energetic stream of radiation would be produced. They passed the stream through a magnetic field and it didn't bend, and therefore they concluded these rays must be gamma rays 
with high energy and no charge. Around the exact same time, Irene Joliot and Frederick Joliot were discovering that when this exact unknown radiation penetrated through a block of paraffin, protons would come shooting out. And why paraffin? Because paraffin is a hydrogen containing compound, therefore making it very dense with nuclei so that the rays have more chances of hitting a nuclei and shooting out a proton. After hearing about the gamma ray hypothesis, neither Chadwick or Rutherford were convinced. Following Mr. and Mrs. Joliot and Walter Boff's experiments, Chadwick decided to do one of his own, this time with the goal of finding the proof of a neutron. He set up his experiment similar to the previous experiments. He got polonium, which is highly radioactive. He used beryllium as the metal and paraffin. The radiation shot through, emitting radiation and shooting those alpha particles through a plate of beryllium. Rays were emitted from the beryllium and shot through a block of paraffin. Protons ended up being shot out through the other side of the paraffin at very high speeds. He quickly proved the gamma ray theory wrong, given they are such small particles moving at such a high speed that there's no way such a small particle could hit paraffin and shoot out protons. Using kinematics and the law of conservation of momentum, he was able to determine the mass of these unknown radiation particles. He then figured out it had about the same mass as the mass of a proton. A good analogy to this would be a bike coming into direct contact with a truck standing at rest. It would be very difficult for the bike, even at very high speeds, to crash into the truck and have the truck move. This is why Chadwick started to believe that this new radiation consisted not of gamma rays, but of uncharged particles that weighed about the same as protons, so they'd be able to knock out another proton at a very high speed. Now we have two trucks. This one's at rest, and this one is approaching it at a high speed. Once this truck crashes into this one, this truck is going to start moving. That proved to Chadwick that this radiation must have a very similar mass to that of a proton. This experiment led to the discovery of the neutron, and James Chadwick won the Nobel Prize in Physics in 1935.